I'm happy, very happy that the Vestals are with me on the show today. They have a new CD coming out entitled Songs About Girls and Other Mysteries. And I wanted to ask you guys if you laid out any goals for this record as you started writing songs for it. Yeah, we really did. Um, I, I feel like the debut album, we went into it kind of willy-nilly, just tried to see what would happen, which ended up uh, costing us twice as much as probably we needed to spend. Um, <clears throat> it's real fun to have some beers and kick back in the studio and grab xylophones and what have you and you know just kind of mess around in the studio, but you're paying for it. So this time around, we pretty much agreed that we weren't going to do a, a whole lot of overdubs and we are going to play as many parts live as we could. Why? Um, I think in response to the the first record, which mm -hmm. I still... Was overproduced in your mind? Yeah. Not really, because what does that really mean? I mean, I it, we purposely tried to overproduce it, and then we, I guess, purposely tried to not produce this one. Mm -hmm. Just to do it, to, to have it sound more like we sound live. How do you think you guys have gotten better as musicians and songwriters since you've been together? Jeremy? I don't know. Um... <clears throat> Are you conscious of that? Are you conscious of your progression as artists? Or you just write what you think are good songs and then release them? I kind of, I think my sort of self-judging is a little harsher. So I probably throw a lot of ideas away more than I would have when I was younger. So I think, I think um, when I listen back to really weird stuff from a long time ago, I... I almost always liked the ideas that I, w that I was trying to put forth, but there were almost, uh, it seems like, too many ideas in one song, or songs were too long, the song forms were kind of jumbled up. And I think just sort of editing out the, and trimming the fat, that area, I think we've gotten better. Our songs are gotten a little bit more concise, and we don't have a lot to argue with as far as, like, arrangement and song form. Um, when we get together to work a song out, it pretty much falls right into place these days. And I think it took a lot longer when we were younger. Are you writing about relationships here? Yeah, pretty much. Sort of after the fact, we noticed that, yeah, that a lot of the songs had to do with relationships. Good, you know, the good parts and the bad parts. What is the key to writing a good relationship song? I've almost become fixated on this over the last few months. When I hear a song about relationships, I usually say... Uh-oh, another relationship mm -hmm. song. How can you say something new and fresh? Or is that important at all? I think you've got to sort of get out of your own head a little bit and compare what's happening, happening with the relationship with something bigger than that. I don't know how I can explain it better, but it's kind of... In any case, right, you have to, you have to be in that, that feeling. Something real has to happen. You can't... If you're in a pretty good mood um, and you just, you know, are watching TV, it's kind of hard to turn it off and write a, a song that feels like anything. There has to be something going on in your life. That's that's kind of leaning towards the bad song about a bad thing that's happened in a relationship. I don't, I can't think of any songs that I have that are about everything is going a okay. And boy, <laughs> I have one dude, totally I love you more than ever. <laughs> I have one totally uh, positive love song in this. Do you really? Oh yeah. Which oh, one is that? Far Away Explosions. Oh okay. Yeah. Well. Okay, then the whole vagueness of that really works in that case because I had no idea. It's not like, <laughs> you know, when Paul McCartney was really, really cool in the Beatles and then, like, he's still going to always be really cool, but when people sing about being really happy, I kind of can't handle it. Well, would you call that particular song a Tom Cruise love song then? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> From the cocktail era. Tom it's the Vestals live on the local show on 89.3 The Current, and they are about to play another song. Have at it, fellas.